Hello, so you've just purchased the Scarlett 2i2 and you want to start making music. I'm going to take you through the setup and registration process so you can get up and running in no time. First, let's have a look at what's inside the box. Inside the box, you get the Scarlett 2i2 interface itself, a packet containing the stop guard and getting started guide, and a USB cable. So now I need to register the unit. I'm using Internet Explorer here, but you might be using Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome. So I need to double click on Internet Explorer and visit www.focusrite.com. Now click on register product. And in the product drop down list, select Scarlett 2i2. And now I'm going to enter the serial number which is on the reverse of the 2i2 itself. Now I need to enter my email address. Please pause the video if you need more time. When you're ready, click on Get My Stuff. I already have an account with Focusrite, so I need to enter my password. But if you don't have an account, you can create one by clicking on Sign In. So I'm going to enter my password and the bundle code, which is printed on the card that was in the packet I showed you earlier on. Enter the date of purchase and where the product was purchased from. And when you're ready, click on Submit. Now you'll see the 2i2 appear in your account. With the serial number and the bundle code. Additional info has videos. The support tab shows the latest answer based articles. And the downloads tab has all your software, download links and activation codes. Now click on download for Ableton Live. Click on download Live Lite here. Close this window and double click on Setup. This will unpack the contents of the installer. Now click on Next and continue the installation. This could take some time, so feel free to pause the video and resume when you're ready. Minimise these windows and Ableton Live will load. Now we need to click on Authorise with Ableton.com. Click on Allow and log in to your Ableton account. If you don't have an account, on the right hand side here, you can create one. Now we need to go back to our Focusrite account page and manually type this code in here. When you're ready, click on Register Serial. You're now activated and ready to go. Click on OK. Now we need to connect the 2i2 to our computer. Connect the USB cable that comes in the box to the Scarlett 2i2 and plug the other end into the PC's USB slot. Connect quarter inch jacks 
to the outputs and then to your speakers, ensuring the speakers are switched off. You can connect your headphones here and now with the monitor volume turned right down, you can turn on your speakers. I'm going to record a guitar and a vocalist. So I'm going to plug the guitar into input 1 and switch from line to instrument input. Then I'm going to plug the mic into input 2 and switch on the 48V or phantom power button. Now I need to level check, so I'm asking my artist to sing and play while I adjust the levels. If your inputs glow red, it means the input signal is turned up too high and is clipping. So turn them down till they're glowing green. In live, to configure the 2i2 as a sound card, go to Options and Preferences. Select the Audio tab, and then in this drop-down, select Focusrite USB Audio Driver, like this. You're now set up, so close this window. I'm deleting these two MIDI channels because I'm not going to use them in this session. And by hitting Ctrl R, I'm going to rename these channels as Guitar for input 1, and vocals for input two. That's control and R. Now if I hit the linear view tab and hit IO, I can see all the input and output settings. So I need to ensure that channel one is set to one and channel two is set to two. Now I need to record on both channels. So I click on one, then hold control and click on the other one. All that's left to do is hit play and record and ask my artist to begin the performance. So there you have it, you should be up and running and making music. If you do have any problems, please contact our support team. Thanks very much for watching.